Welcome to the Alex Jones Show on this Friday, September 18th, 2015. I'm David Knight, your host. We're going to be joined by Alex Jones in the next segment. He's going to give you an update on the money bomb. I can tell you that we sincerely appreciate all the support that you've given us over the last couple of days. It's, uh, I hesitate for a moment to give the date as uh, it seems like all the days are running together for all of us here. The crew, especially in the back, has been working 24-7 uh, to get this done. Uh, those of us who are here on the uh, on the air have put in a lot of hours, but especially the crew in the back. They've been working around the clock. So we appreciate their hard work, and we appreciate you standing with us. And we're going to give you an update on that with uh, Alex Jones when we come back from the break. Of course, we're also going to have Paul Joseph Watson joining us today. He's going to talk about a story that we have up on Infowars.com. Top imam, Muslim immigrants should breed with Europeans to, quote, conquer their countries. He says Europeans have lost their fertility. I think it's, uh, he's actually kind of right. The question is, why are families so small in Europe? I remember Mark Stein, who's a Canadian, pretty much a, a neocon. I don't agree with him on, on many issues. But on demographics, he had it right. He wrote a book a few years ago called America Alone. And in that, he talked about the uh, size of families of Europeans versus uh, Muslims versus third world countries. Of course, he chalked it all up to just sociological change. I think that's a big part of it as well. But I think that many people are not looking at the deliberate things that are done to our food and water supply that reduce our fertility. We've talked about that a great deal here at InfoWars. That is certainly a part of the equation that transcends social issues, transcends religion. But we're also going to talk about how the goal of this imam and many people, as we understand, as we look at this massive wave of immigration, we need to understand there's humanitarian crisis. We need to understand the origin of that crisis. That was something that's just glossed over in the uh, discussion that we have with our political leaders. They didn't talk about the origins of this, how we created this, and we decided that we were going to overthrow the Assad regime in Syria. We began the war. We lit the fire. We created the humanitarian crisis. It would have been much larger, much sooner if we hadn't stood against it. And we thank you for standing with us, for spreading the information as we discovered the sarin false flag attacks, many other things that were done to try to push this war. It isn't that Obama didn't want to prosecute this war. Will Obama do anything the military industrial complex wants him to do. It's one of the ways that he's betrayed his base. One of the things that we look at when we look at this presidential race is we need to understand how if we get invested personally in a presidential candidate, as we saw with Obama eight years ago, as we're now seeing with Donald Trump, and we don't vet the person and their policies, that we're going to get something very similar to what we've got with Obama, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican. Thomas Sowell has an editorial. We're going to talk about that today. About now is not the time to get emotionally involved with a man. We need to focus on issues. We need to understand that if we're really going to change these problems, it's an information problem. We have low information voters who are following the crowd, getting uh, irrationally exuberant, to put it in the phrases of Alan Greenspan, about a particular candidate. We need to grab them by the lapels. We need to show them the documentaries, get them to a different news source, let them see what is going on in reality. And then we need to act on the issues, not coalesce around a man, but coalesce around issues. There's a story we're going to be covering today. Rand Paul asks 100,000 pastors to help mobilize the grassroots to defund Planned Parenthood. Don't cynically just dismiss this as a campaign uh, move. This is something that we really need to see happen, whether it's being led by a political candidate or whether it's being led by other people. We've got Gerald Salenti starting Occupy Peace this weekend. We talked to him as part of the money bomb. We need to coalesce around the important issues. We need to work at the local level, and to do that, you need information. Stay with us. We're going to be back. We've got a lot of information, a lot of guests. Wayne Madsen is going to be joining us. Paul Joseph Watson is going to be joining us. Jones here with my co-host David Knight, thanking all the Info Warriors who in the last few days made history by donating to the 2015 Operation Money Bomb War Chest. We have raised close to a million dollars that is absolutely essential to beam via satellite to thousands of UHF, VHF, and cable stations around North America and all the way down into Central America. The world is hungry for the message of liberty. 
And one of the favorite refrains of our founding fathers was that all that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. So we're not claiming that we're gonna save the world by doing this, but together taking action in little ways, small ways, big ways, huge ways, we are going to change the course of history. What the globalists are doing is incredibly unpopular. It's illegal, it's tyrannical. Whether it's harvesting baby parts worldwide and China selling organs, uh, whether it's the forced inoculation agenda planetary wide, whether it's funding radical Islamic groups to destabilize areas of the world, it's all criminal and it's all run by the same people. So because we've done the research, because we know who the enemy is, it's our responsibility to not just sit here and reach 20, 30 million people a week. So we're launching the first phase of a program to eventually have satellites covering free to air the entire populated world. And we've built the team now with David Knight and the other reporters and anchors and the journalists and the investigative researchers and the writers to really give the globalists a run for their money. We're about to update Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com with new, more modern designs. We're about to launch a lot of new things here. But I just wanted to thank all of you who did donate, who bought the products in the last two days because you've raised almost a million dollars. But it's been three years since we've had a fundraiser. And I want to actually reach our goal of a million dollars. We need to do it to be able to get a couple more reporters, some of the more expensive equipment we need. We've paid for the satellite, we've paid for the closed captioning, we've paid for a lot of the groundwork to get this going. We're already up on the satellite, affiliates are already tuning in, already signing on right now. So thank God and thank all of you. But now we need to go to that next level to ensure that over the next 12 months, we're able to complete this operation. And my plan is to then make it self-sufficient and we'll never have another fundraiser again. We may. It was three years since I had another one. We want to, again, not be under the control of sponsors, not be under the control uh, of uh, outside advertisers. We want to be independent selling high quality products that you believe in, that you use, that you like. But occasionally we do come to you to ask us to help bring this operation to the next level. But you've got to feel really good right now knowing that you've done that. And we've pretty much reached our goals. But in the interest of that, we want to extend the sales, massive sales of upwards of 20% off, free shipping, you name it, on hundreds of items at InfoWarsStore.com. You can also call 888-253-3139. We're gonna run that through Friday, Saturday, into Sunday at six o'clock Central Standard Time. David's gonna be hosting the Sunday show this weekend. And when it ends, we will have to turn off those specials because we're contractually through some of these uh, suppliers unable to continue to offer some of these products at the prices we're offering uh, because it hurts the competition a little too much. So again, I wanna thank you all. I wanna invite you to to double down on this revolution against tyranny, or if you haven't donated, or if you haven't checked out the great products at InfoWarsStore.com, I want to invite you to check it out. David Knight, uh, you've been here three years. We don't use teleprompters. We don't script this. I just called you in here five minutes ago and said, I want to thank everybody. I want to encourage them uh, to be part of this. Uh, this is historic what we're doing. And, and I wanted you, I'm telling you now, to speak to what it's been like for you being here three years uh, and where you see the info war going uh, from this point. Because you didn't win a contest five years ago you entered. But out of that, we offered to hire you. You moved your family down here from the Carolinas. And, and I want you to share your experience, teleprompter free, unscripted, of what it's been like and have a message for folks. But most importantly, I wanted to thank you as representative of the listeners who don't just stand, as I've said, beside us, but at the heart of what we're doing. David Knight was a listener yeah. and a family man and a business owner and an engineer. And he pulled up stakes and came down here and now he's hosting the show. Now he's reaching tens of millions. And so he's a microcosm of what supporting ideas does. Evil's only winning because good men and women haven't got off the bench in the fight. So David, I want you to close this out, spend a few minutes, but I love you well, and your family, and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. It's amazing to work with such great people. Thank you so much. And I, I can tell you that what I've seen here in this amount of time is how Alex is pouring this back into expanding the information outreach. We're not sitting on a hoard of gold like some kind of a dragon. He is investing this. I've seen massive changes, not only expansion in the number of personnel, but also expansion in the studios that we put there, which is essential for us to be able to reach out to people, to have something that looks professional. People won't 
tune in and listen to it. If you're trying to reach somebody that's never heard this message before, you've got a lot of obstacles in front of you because they've never heard these this kind of information before. They're getting a very different story from the, uh, the planned information that's coming out of the mainstream media. And so when we hit them with very different information, if we look extremely different, that's very difficult for us to reach them. So we have to have a certain way to present it. We have to have certain ways that we can reach out to people. That's what I've seen Alex doing is investing in this all out. As I said before, when we saw what happened uh, with Sandy Hook, we knew what was going to be done with this. We knew this was a massive push to take away the Second Amendment. We know how important all of our rights are, but we know that the Second Amendment is guaranteeing these other rights as well. And I remember how it was, it was like this money bomb effort. For a couple of weeks at the very beginning, it was just around the clock, pushing back against, the, against this. What can we do? How can we expose where they're going with this? What they're doing with this? So we've seen this happen over and over again. It's gonna happen again. There's been multiple times since I've been here that we have made a difference. You passing our information along, you being a subscriber to the nightly news, when we were fighting against these expansions in the war in Syria, when they had the false flag attacks with the sarin gas, we explained that to people. We were leading the fight and explaining to people what was really going on there. Now it's breaking that our government has been working with Chechen rebels, bringing them in, training them, and in, injecting them into Syria, going back to 2012. Mainstream media is reporting that now, reporting the fact that we have American troops on the ground in Syria a day after everybody was saying it's so dangerous and provocative that Putin is saying he's going to put Russian troops there. So it's very important. It has real world consequences for all of us to understand what is behind this, what is happening. That's why it is imperative for all of us to understand what's going on and to warn our neighbors what's going on. There's been so many issues on which InfoWars has been a real game changer where we've made a real difference with you, with your support. That's why it's vital for you to join with us and support us now. Thank you so much for standing with us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get that last bit of effort to finish this off. For InfoWars Nightly News and for the Alex Jones Radio Show, I'm David Knight. Jones started his Access TV show in 1995. In 1996, he parlayed its popularity into a terrestrial radio show. The next year, he launched Infowars.com, and by 2000, his voice was carried over 120 AM, FM, and shortwave radio stations. In 2007, he launched PrisonPlanet.tv, where he pioneered producing merging video and radio, a practice that is commonplace today. Now, Info Wars.com is the most popular alternative news website in the world. The Alex Jones channel on YouTube has over 1 million subscribers and over 550 million views. He was the first to put his over 20 documentaries on the web for free. The seminal Obama deception has been seen over 14 million times on one YouTube channel. And now Alex Jones wants to launch the Infowars.com operation into space. Join us in our march toward a peaceful restoration of the Republic by going to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. We are listener, viewer, and reader supported. Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. And again, I'm David Knight live here on this Friday, September 18th, 2015. As you heard Alex uh, talking, we are we're very appreciative of the way that you have stood by us. We are extending these specials uh, to help you, to help us. We have extended free shipping through tonight, through midnight tonight. We are going to extend the Money Bomb specials until we hit the million dollar mark. And of course, we've already sold out of several products. Uh, Deep Cleanse, Super Mail have sold out. We expect Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine will sell out this weekend. Uh, it's currently at 15% off. Check out the specials we've got there. We've got 15% off of Survival Shield X2 Nascent Iodine, Oxy Powder, Secret 12. We have 20% off of Brain Force and Silver Bullet, Colloidal Silver. Also, we have the uh, introductory offers. You can find uh, sales at uh, InfoWarsSelect.com, the emergency survival foods that are there. We're going to be talking to Paul Joseph Watson. We're going to play the video that is embedded in his article of a top imam calling for Muslim immigrants to conquer the European countries. So we're going to play that and tell you what he's saying, and then we're going to have commentary from Paul Joseph Watson about that, about the 
GOP debate. We're also going to have commentary from Wayne Madsen about the GOP debate. There's a couple of articles that are up on Infowars.com. Before we go to break, 